There's been a big shift. I'm fascinated <laughs> by this one. <laughs> so are you. So are you. There's been a major shift in workplace culture. Fewer people are going out after work to mingle with their co workers. Madison Allworth is at a bar. It's only 10 39 Eastern time, but she's at a bar they in New York City. They, they serve breakfast, I believe. Madison, why are more people skipping the bar and heading straight home after work? Stuart, I just want to let you know this bar has been open since 9 a.m., so you can get your drink on in New York any time of the day. But New Yorkers and workers really across the country, they're skipping the after-hour drinks because of two things. One, we're hearing they want to keep their work life and their personal life separate. And the other thing is they're more interested in just getting home. They don't want to linger after work. They want to get home to their pandemic puppies turned dogs, and they want to use the cooking skills that they picked up during the pandemic. No one knows that better than Sean, the owner of Sean's Bar. You said before the pandemic, work happy hour was from like 5 to 8.30. What are you seeing now instead? Typically, happy hours lasted a lot later pre-pandemic, but now they're about basically 5 to 6.30, so a lot shorter than we're used to. So people getting in, getting out, and what are the days that you're seeing workers come to your bar? Thursday has become the hottest day of the week. Fridays have uh, tapered down. I think people want to start their weekends a lot earlier than uh, they used to. Okay, yeah, and so we wanted to hear from the workers of New York if they feel the same about the after work happy hour. Here's what they had to say. I feel like that kind of made, made us take a step back and be like, do I really want to spend this much time with my coworkers after work? Big fan of a happy hour. As long as uh, the firm's paying and it's not me, there's no reason not to be there. It's uh, especially it's a good way for you know young people to be interact with their bosses a little bit and you know learn more from them and everybody working at home, man, it just ain't good. So you know, it's not just the drinks that are ending. We're also seeing a pullback in after work dinner reservations. People just interested in getting home. And as Sean mentioned, the big drinking day now Thursday instead of Friday. So I just had him pour me a Guinness. Are we ready for the Guinness? I'm ready to get my drink on. So yeah, this is no longer the big drinking day. People want to get home and have the drink maybe at, uh, you know, with their family. But if you come to Sean's, you got a lot of, a lot of foam. Oh, that is very beautiful. Look at that. So okay. I'm going to be good at the bar all day, Stu. It is also because it's 10.30 a.m., so not as many people here, but um, yeah, we're ready. I'll send it back to you. I have to tell you that you've just started an enormous amount of conversation in this building about uh, what you're doing, about people not doing happy hour. So wait a second, let me digress. Let's go to Lauren. Oh, oh. I've got to bring you into this. You Why want not? me to say it. Yeah. Why do you think people are not going to happy hour as much as they used they to? They don't want to get in trouble with their human resources department, because what happens at happy hour? I think you're absolutely yeah. right. I think you're right. Relationships. Yeah. I mean, there's no such thing as an office romance any longer. No. Can't do it gets that. Gets you in trouble. You can't go out drinking with your colleagues. And everyone has a, a phone, and you might say something or do something that's not completely yeah. PC. I think we've solved the trouble. problem here. Plus, we have. America is going to bed earlier and getting up is earlier. Is that true, or that does that just fact. make yeah. you feel better to Great say that? Great story in the Wall Street <laughs> Journal a couple of months ago about this, and I should know. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lauren.